Hey, what is up everybody? My name's Starlord. I hope that you're all having a fantastic day. I know I am. It's an absolutely lovely day in the UK. It's boiling hot. And uh, yeah, today's video we're actually going to be looking and talking about the Season 4 skins and items such as like pickaxes and gliders and even sky trail effects that we might see in Season 4. Uh, this video is purely speculation but I will be showing off a couple of skins that a lot of the community have been creating that look absolutely amazing and do deserve a little bit of acknowledgement. Uh, before we actually get into today's video guys, please do not forget to leave a like and also Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already for more Fortnite glitches guides videos skin leaks and especially a couple of giveaways when I can afford it. I've actually got something planned for Season 4, where I will give a couple of people some Season 4 uh, money so that they can actually buy it and get it. Uh, so if you th that's something that you feel interested in, subscribe to the channel, turn on notifications and wait for that video. Now, like I said, Season 4 is nearly here. I believe it's actually like, I think it's like 15 days away now. I, I, let me let me just have a little check. Wait there a second. Yeah, wow. Okay, so it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. It's 11 days away, guys. And we have heard zilch from Epic Games. Normally, a week or two before we actually have Season 4, they will leak something. Like something very tiny, significant. But, you know, it'll get everyone really, really hyped. And I think it's getting to the point now where it's around about a week or so until they reveal at least a little tiny bit of Season 4 for Fortnite Battle Royale. I mean, as soon as it gets into the next month, it will be here for us, guys. And that's pretty darn exciting. Uh, but anyway, we're going to kind of compile all of the information we know about Season 3 already and kind of speculate about Season 4. So, of course, all you guys know that there is a huge comet in the sky and there's been a lot of space-themed kind of stuff going on with Season 3. And uh, that's pretty cool, but there is one thing that has been missing from all of this and that is an alien skin. Now, I know a lot of people are like, they would never add an alien skin into the game. Well... Honestly, I never thought they would add a Lovatian skin into the game, and yet they have done it. There's actually a fish in a fishbowl that can walk around in a space-type looking costume. That, to me, right there is the closest we're getting to the alien right now. But I bet your ass right now that in Season 4, we may just see a kind of alien skin or something along the lines of that. Uh, but other than that, if we don't see an alien skin, what I do bet is that once that meteorite strikes and kind of destroys something... I bet you right now that this pickaxe that we're seeing on screen right now will get a skin. At least a caveman and a cavewoman skin. I would love to see that. I genuinely feel like we will be able to see a caveman or a cavewoman skin sometime in Season 4. Either a Season 4 battle pass kind of thing or maybe it'll just be added later on in Season 4. Like maybe like the last week or something like that, you know? But I genuinely feel like this little uh, pickaxe right here, the tooth, uh, toothpick pickaxe, is actually one of the better, more underrated to, uh, pickaxes in the game. And to not have a skin to go with this is kind of a bit disappointing. And uh, yeah, I just feel like it kind of deserves its own little skin, to be honest. Now, other than that, a lot of people have kind of forgotten now about the Bright Bomber backpack, and I don't ne know necessarily why they haven't released this yet, or why they haven't put it into any kind of giveaway or something like that, but a lot of people have been saying that it may actually be a Season 4 Battle Pass kind of exclusive skin, where, you know, you get the back bling, and it is going to be free for those who actually purchase the Season 4 Battle Pass. But up until now, we don't exactly know, but that's what a lot of people have been saying on the Reddit. But um, I bet you that we can probably see the Bright Bomber come back sometime in Season 4. I mean, I would love if it did personally, but, uh, you know, it's it's been in the game's files now for way over a month. And a lot of people are kind of questioning, like, where is this? Why haven't they added it? And, uh, yeah, I would just kind of be a little bit disappointed if they never actually added it itself. Now, there is another pickaxe that has actually been in the game for quite a while, and this is the Death Valley pickaxe. Uh, you guys will know it. It was very early on added to the game, and it's kind of like a... It's got a skull. I, I don't know what animal it is. I'm very really sorry. But it's basically an animal's head as a skull. And a lot of people have actually been talking about this pickaxe getting its own skin. Especially since all of these crazy skins have been coming out right now. And especially one dude on Reddit. I'm pretty sure that his name will be on screen with an image. As of right now, I don't know his name and I don't have the image on my PC. But it will be on screen right now and all credit goes to this dude. He is amazing. And this skin concept is absolutely great. I've already seen it personally. And it's just basically, um, it's basically a skin that goes along with 
the pickaxe itself and it's kind of using I believe it's using the raptor kind of body but also using the Death Valley pickaxe head as the actual character's head. It looks amazing in my opinion. I would love to see it added to the game as something like a DLC later on down the line. I say DLC, but what I actually mean is when things get added into the game later on through the season, that's what I mean. I would love to see it added on later on through the season itself. Now there is also another thing that has been missing from the game and that is a Slurp Man costume. Now, of course, Slurp is a huge thing in this game and it's obviously a licensed product within the Fortnite universe but unfortunately we don't actually know where it's brewed there is no brewery for slurp juice at all around the map and I think sometime we will eventually see a slurp juice kind of factory pop up somewhere and along with it I hope for God I hope to God they actually add in a slurp man costume to go with it kind of like a superhero costume maybe even like duff man you know from the Simpsons but of course as Slurp Man, and I don't know, I'm pretty sure that somebody out there has made a concept art for this skin. Unfortunately, I don't have it, and I don't know who's created it, but I'm pretty sure somewhere I did actually see it very early on in Season 2. Uh, but other than that, I would love to see a Slurp Man costume be added to the game. I think that would be really cool, and especially if they updated the map and added like a factory somewhere where, you know, Slurp Juice was actually produced and everything like that. That would be pretty cool, and it would kind of give you a little bit of background as to, you know, Slurp in general. Now, as a fan-made content, I've actually got these three concept arts on screen in a second that are created, and they look absolutely amazing, and I really hope to God that Epic sees them and actually implements them into the game sometime throughout Season 4 or even Season 5. Uh, but the first thing that we're going to be looking at is the one on screen right now, and this is Llama. This is Mr. Llama. And of course, as you can see, this is a character that will actually go with the actual pickaxe itself. And this looks amazing. It's actually created by, uh, I believe that's Lazy Vlandos, I think. So credit to you, dude. You're amazing. And this skin is absolutely crazy. Uh, but as you can see, it's got a lot of different elements that just really go well with the actual unicorn or the llama itself. And as you can see, it's got the uh, kind of, uh, I guess it's like a kind of blue turquoise kind of uh, purple going on with a couple of elements of green, yellow and pink added as the kind of shotgun shells on the chest. Other than that, we actually do have a back bling that is Mrs. Loot. That's actually what the name of it is called. And uh, this is because you get uh, 500 of each uh, loot in the llama itself. You get the wood, you get the brick, and you get the metal. And I think those two things look absolutely amazing. Now, as for the pickaxe and the balloon, I genuinely don't like them. I think that he could have done 10 times better with those, but I don't know why he never. Uh, but other than that, I don't like those, uh, the glider or the pickaxe. But as for the back bling and the actual character itself, they look amazing. And I would absolutely love if this was implemented into the game. I would buy that without a doubt. And especially with that back bling, I would love to buy it too. Um, I know for a fact a lot of people would love to see this in the game. It's already been upvoted on Reddit a heck load. And just this dude's designs in general are amazing. Everyone loves them. Everyone absolutely loves them. So lazy, awesome work, dude. Absolutely amazing concept arts. I love them very, very much. Moving on, we do also have another concept art from the same guy, and this one is called the Spartan, and this is actually using the default skin, I guess, but it is actually a Roman Empire type looking skin. The back bling looks amazing, it is basically a shield, and also the pickaxe is just a spear, like they would have used back, uh, back then, I guess, and this character looks amazing, I mean... It could definitely add some kind of cartoony kind of aspects to it. It looks a little bit too realistic for me. But obviously, when Fortnite actually get their hands on it, on the on the actual design itself, they would cartoony it a little bit more, make it a little bit more toony, and it would just look amazing. But this right here, Vlad, uh, is absolutely amazing. I love it. I think it's a brilliant idea, a lovely concept art, and very well made. I would definitely love to see this added to the game sometime in the future, and especially for Season 4, I mean, it would it would be amazing, like, just imagine, Season 4 is all about destruction, right, so, obviously, the meteorite has came down, destroyed everything, so everything has went back to the old times, you know, it's went back to the times where, you know, uh, there were cavemen, and maybe even Spartans, you know, it would kind of fit well with the theme itself. Now, apart from that, I did happen to see somebody message me on Twitter. I don't know who the guy is. I don't necessarily want to give credit to this person because he never credited the actual maker.
Maker. And I definitely know that he never created it. But this one on screen right now was actually made. It's a harvesting tool made by someone. I don't know who, but uh, whoever it is, credit to you, dude. I'm really sorry that I don't have your name. But the person who sent me this definitely didn't make it. And I definitely don't want to credit them. Uh, but on screen right now, you have uh, an actual harvesting tool called Special Delivery. The Special Delivery. Brilliant name, by the way. And it is just a normal kind of post box or a mailbox that you would find in the actual game itself. This is so basic, but I love it. I love it, and I especially love the price on it. I think it's brilliant, and I would love it to get added to the game. This is like one of those really cool pickaxes that get added to the game that not many people buy, but damn right, they look amazing because... For example, the pickaxe, uh, the pick, the toothpick pickaxe, that's amazing, but not many people actually use it. But it is one of the best designs they've made for a pickaxe in the game. And that goes to show that these simple ones, are, like they're so simple, but they're really good. And this is something I would definitely buy as a pickaxe in Fortnite. So, I don't know, if, if, if Epic Games are actually seeing this video, I doubt it, but, you know, if any of you guys have seen this video right now and you thought, you know what, this would make a really good kind of, uh, I guess, pickaxe or skin, send it on to, for, to the Epic developers. Tweet the Epic, tweet Fortnite or whatever, you know. You never know, we might actually see it added into Season 4 somewhere down the line because that's how a lot of things actually get started, you know. Uh, Epic Games actually see what the, uh, the community wants and they add it into the game and that's pretty cool. I mean, I bet most of you guys don't even know that Haunted Hills was actually an idea from a player in the game and you know what? Honestly, the concept art for it wasn't even that great. It was basically someone's drawings of like what they could add up in that side of the map and then the Epic developer saw it and added it to the game. It was absolutely insane, but you know what I mean? Like, it just goes to show that Epic do look at these videos and concept arts and all of that kind of stuff, and they do actually implement them in some way or another at one point in time or another. So, uh, you know, hope to God that we can see a caveman skin in the future, maybe even the Death Valley fucking skin, or even the Slurp Juice uh, or the Slurp Man skin, I don't know. Uh, but anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching today's video. I do hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, please do not forget to leave a like and also subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and uh, yeah i guess just have an awesome day and when i find out more news from season four i will update you guys uh, but yeah have an awesome day and until next time i've been star lord oh see ya